Hello my fellow YouTubers and welcome back to my channel. And those that haven't been here before, welcome also. Today we're going to do a reaction for a movie called Pillow Talk, requested by one of you guys. And so I haven't seen this movie, but I heard in the 1959 movie, this was one of the greatest movies that was made for couples and stuff. I mean, this was the bomb, making the big hits, Rock Hudson and Doris Day all together, and plus many other talented actors. I've seen the trailer of it. I'm looking forward to look. It seems like it's a very fun movie. It's uh, a love story. It's a romance and comedy all together. So let's start this reaction. But before, this is don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That will help me out to do better things in the future to bring more things to you guys. And don't forget to hit that like button. That like button pushes my stuff forward to other people all around the world. And hit that bell notification also. It also gives you information about more stuff that I'm bringing up to you and dates and premieres and whatever it gets. So don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me what you wanted, something I didn't know about the movie and tell me if you thought it was good or bad and, and just talk to me. And it says if we want to discuss it too, we'll probably do a movie uh, reaction about talking about these other features and movies together. You will give me more challenges in the future to do something for you. So. Let's go ahead and start this reaction and keep on talking after this. So, let's start. Okay. Universal. They always bring a lot of good stuff. Universal International was called before until they just made Universal Pictures. Pillow talk. Pillow talk. Wonder how many pillows they had tossing to each other. It says, I bet you they had them maybe a uh, maybe hundred pillows to toss to each other. Oh well, the center of them. I wonder if that's really Doris Day and Rock Hudson on the bed. Well, she's making sure her legs are very well shaved. That bridge behind them, I wonder if that's a real scene. Is it New York City? It looks like the George Washington Bridge. Bread. Bread. So this is, I've, I've, I saw about their party line or something. I just had to call you. I think the I'll system is mixed up. Old systems, old telephone Especially systems. Especially when you sang me your new song. Our song, Eileen. I wrote it for you. Mm, how oh, romantic. Brad. He wrote a song for her. <laughs> Would you sing it to me again? You are my inspiration, Eileen. I'm just falling in love myself with that song. Perfect combination. <laughs> I agree with Doris Day. It's like... So is it any wonder? <laughs> She's like, dude, stop already. Hang up. Oh, I'm under your spell, Eileen. I do hate to interrupt, but would you mind hanging up, please? The other half of my party line. Just ignore her. She'll go away. <laughs> I've got an important call to make. I happen to consider this an important call. Especially would she knows that she's single in this movie. This, line. this charms doesn't work with her. Old Fashioned Kitchens, 1959. But it looks like a nice apartment, does it? She's going to check again to see if he's still on. I know it is oh my god, shape, another I woman. I wonder how Rock Hudson could keep up his strength in this movie. But you'll have to go out and eat dinner, no? Oh, I'll throw something together here. Not the song again. Let's hear it to see if it has a different version. Inspiration. Italian. Yvette. So, he made this song up that he could use everybody else's name to add to the song. Will you please get off this phone? Hudson. Who is that woman? Some little eavesdropper on my party line. <laughs> She's always listening in. So she brightens up her drab, empty life. If I could get a call through <laughs> once in a while, my life wouldn't be so drab. 
She must be having a rough day today. Must just zoom up so fast. <laughs> what are you, jet propelled or something? <laughs> Good morning, Al. That's a peach of a hangover she's got this morning. I'm afraid so. Maybe she's got a party line. So she had her stuff waiting for her. I guess she knows her. She comes every day like that, like that elevator guy was talking to her about. Oh my God, that was just too much. But that's a good idea when you have a, a hangover. Your phone company wants mm. everyone to have a private. Yeah, they play Dr. We're Bellows and be with and. No. I love Jeannie. We have hundreds of applications which take precedence over yours. But there must be some way to get one. Well, if some emergency arose, if you were to become pregnant, for example, why, you'd jump right to the top of the Wonderful list. idea. Mr. Conrad, being single, I'm not quite ready for that kind of emergency. <laughs> so naturally, there are business calls that I must make, and I cannot get a call through. Do you have any <laughs> idea what it's like to be on a party line with a, 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 a sex maniac? And you're bothered by this? Yes. I mean, no. No, exactly. What do you mean, Bob? Yeah. He's carrying on with all these other women disturbs you. Well, madam, we I will, like her we'll hat. Have it looks real. Stop by and have a talk with them. Oh, thank you. It looks real cute, and let's uh, hope that expector that. takes care of this dude. Man is true. We may be forced to disconnect him. Good. Haven't you reached John yet? If she doesn't get here soon, that woman is going to drive me out of my mind. Let's see who's taking him out of his mind. This is priceless. Really? Is anybody in it? Yeah. Not at the moment. <laughs> I wonder if your man's gonna <laughs> kill the lady. <laughs> Jan! Nice car. Hello, Jonathan. You have a car like this at this time? It's a classic. I saw you all morning, but your line's been oh, busy. Naturally. Yeah. It's marvelous. It's yours. Huh? Jonathan, you just don't go around giving girls cars. I do. But I cannot accept a gift like this. Why not? It's too personal. Are you sure you don't want the car? She doesn't like you, dude. <laughs> yes, I'm sure, Jonathan. See you tomorrow. She is not impressed with diamonds and stuff. Like Madonna. Just, I'm sorry to be so late. That's all right, dear. Mm. Mr. Piero and I had a very fruitful Here comes morning. and save the Mr. bell. A fertility goddess? Oh, my dear, I had no It's idea. a woman. That's an ugly looking piece. Savage little thing, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. I tried to reach you all morning. Oh, lover boy got started. Oh. <laughs> I reported him to the phone company. Yeah, it has to be a man, an emergency. They're sending an inspector over. That's right. As far as I'm concerned, yeah, whatever, whatever Mr. Gets, that inspector tells him, he's he not going to fix him up. Oh, there's the inspector, I bet. Mr. Allen, I'm from the telephone company. They sent a woman. Well, hello. Just his best feature to change her mind. I'm a and look at that. It's already attracted to him. I'm an inspector. Yes, you are. What would you like to inspect? <laughs> <laughs> I've never had complaints before. Well, you She's already in love with him. <laughs> Maybe he sung the song to her. <laughs> you don't have to break the sound barrier, you, you hot rod. <laughs> that lady's funny. Listen, your complaint has been found to be completely unwarranted and untruthful. Ooh. According to our inspector, Miss Dickinson. Miss that? Dickinson. Yep. Yeah. It's like sending a, a marshmallow to put out a bonfire. <laughs> yeah, read it for yourself. <laughs> On Mr. Allen to be extremely cooperative. I'll just bet he was. Yes, he was. Poor Miss Morrow, my name is Brad Allen. Yes? I've been advised by the phone company that there's a code number for our party line. It's 793. Now, if you have any future complaints to make, I suggest you dial it and complain to me personally. <laughs> a not fascinated, Mr. Allen. Revolted. You're a woman who lives alone. Doesn't like mm -hmm. it. Doesn't like I it. I happen to like living alone. There's nothing in my bedroom <laughs> that bothers me. Oh, well, that's too bad. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Let's try.
try to be adult about this and, <laughs> He's and making fun of her sort of left and right. Where I can make my business from the hour to the half hour, the phone will be yours. From the half hour to the hour, it will be mine. How does that sound? Like a report from the United Nations. <laughs> you mean you <laughs> Well, at least they have an agreement. He says, I don't mind if it's something will happen like that to me, make an agreement. Never mind my mind. You stick to your half hour and I'll stick to mine. You go, girl. Slam the phone on him. That hunk of piece of playboy. You know, he makes pretty good sense. Yeah, he does. Were you listening in again? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, gosh, she no, listens to every conversation. No, ma'am. He's brightened up many a dreary afternoon. I have a good job, a lovely apartment. I go out with very nice men to the best places. Mm. The finest restaurant? What am I missing? These are finest restaurants. When you have Can't to be ask, there. Believe me, you're missing it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, this movie is killing me. Bedroom problems. How's it look? It looks better the other way. You look beautiful. It looks like a bunch of bookshelves. Oh. Do you like it or like Scattered in the picture. Jen, why won't you marry me? Jonathan, I don't love you. Well, that's absurd. You're obnoxious. And that, well. Well, oh, because you're witchless. Let's marry you because you're rich. Well, they didn't hit the moon with the first missile shot either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess that's that's right. a lot of writing, Dad. They hit the moon. Can't do it. I have to go to a housewarming party tonight. One of our clients. Well, call you the mother. <laughs> Smother him. That kind of talk could sweep a girl off her feet. <laughs> Mr. Allen, you're on my half hour. Artie pooper. <laughs> She's a party pooper. <laughs> I bet you he's calling her back. Don't ever do that again. Mr. Allen, we made an agreement. You were on my time. Mm -hmm. Stop pressing your nose against the window. Hi, Brad. <gasps> How's the show going? Got any more songs ready? That's his best oh. friend. Oh. Money seems to have lost its value these days. Yeah, because you can buy your woman. dollars my grandfather cornered the wheat market and started a panic in Omaha. <laughs> Today, you can't even frighten songwriters with it. Me, I started out in college with $8 million, and I've still got $8 million. <laughs> I just can't seem to get ahead. That's a lot of money. Who's the girl? What girl? Hey, Jan. <laughs> I can't tell you. I may be neurotic, but I'm not crazy. She shares a party line with some nut. It couldn't be. She had to make a deal with them where they use it on alternate half hours. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. He's... You won't tell me who she is. That's right. Uh -uh. He's not going to tell you. with Jan. You look forward to having your branches cut off. <laughs> Hello? Uh, Miss Morrow, uh, this is Brad. Uh, Alan. He's going uh, in for the I've kill. I've just gone through an agonizing reappraisal of our situation, and I'm not very proud I of myself. I bet you she's not going to bite. I have used He's the phone to too fish, much, and I've been extremely rude. Uh, I'd like to apologize for the way I've been acting, and I thought we could get together but frankly some jokes are just too obvious to be funny <laughs> what a pity you have to leave so soon <laughs> yes i have a very early appointment in the morning oh. that's a nice nice dress beautiful dress i want you to meet my son tony hello, hello. tony tony's graduating from harvard this summer wait for a cab jan tony can drive you into town oh no i wouldn't want to impose really i'd be delighted to miss morrow Thank you. Mm, nice car. It looks very expensive. That's a fully electronic apartment. One touch of a button locks the door, turn off the lights, and puts on the soft music he already got ready for. Oh, He's Tony, a pervert. Please. Jen, you're so... Tony, so help me, I'm going to tell your mother. Oh. She word against mine. Oh, 
promise to stop and have one drink with me. No. I like their fancy suits before this Copa de Rio, which is a Spanish place. Maybe Mexican. High class? That's the first. That's that's what they're gonna meet. He's probably taking her to the same place. Well the name Copa de Rio is a cup by the river. Cute name. Come on, drink up. He said right beside me. I didn't even know this because I'm talking to you guys. Pay attention. Now what do you say? I pour you into a cab and send you home, huh? Come on, Jim. Finish your drink. He knows Dream now. Machine. Will you please stop trying to get me drunk? <laughs> emergency. He knows his her now. All right. You can stay till AA comes for you. I am the other lady. No getting... So that's the other end of your party line. Oh, direct connection. Contact! How embarrassing this is, Mr. Uh, Stetson, man. Uh, <laughs> Rex Stetson. Rex, huh? He's gonna eat her alive. <laughs> he uses charming way first. Now he's using another intelligent approach. And he sounds so cute, because all we people that don't speak country like that, we find your your accent very, very cute. Don't tell me this young fellow was trying to force his attentions upon you. Drive him slow and set him down real easy, partner. I'd better if you'd let me see you home. Very nice of you. What a marvelous looking oh, man. Oh, she's under capture. I wonder if he's single. Yeah. She's sure worth a try. <laughs> it's a lovely evening, isn't it? Oh, yes, ma'am, it sure is. You married? Uh oh. You idiot. What are you trying to do? <laughs> Scare the man away? Yes. No, ma'am, I'm not. This may take some fancy broken field running. <laughs> now he knows what to approach. Oh, oh, yes, indeed. Seems like folks nowadays just stopped having kids. May I, ma'am? It's been a real pleasure, man. Nine. Nine three seven. <laughs> right. Bye. Hello. Uh, Ma'am, uh, this is Rex Stetson. <laughs> oh. He uses Rex, and he uses Texan for well, Texas. <laughs> I'd love to have dinner with you. Hello, hello, hello. Is anybody on this line? Yes, I am on the line. Would you please get off it? All right, but you're on my half hour. Oh. Rex, Rex, are you there? Uh, yes, ma'am. Who was that? Manner. Manner? He isn't even worth talking about. <laughs> no. He's just having tons of fun with this. Night, ma'am. Mr. Texan for Texas. Good night. <laughs> that sounds like a joke to me. <laughs> now he's calling like, the other guy now. You can see the seriousness of his face, the change of attitude. Tomorrow, Brad Allen. I couldn't help overhearing part of your conversation. I'm sure you couldn't. And take my advice. Don't go out with that man tomorrow night. He's a phony. Of course, it's none of my business. Oh, that's right, Mr. Allen. It is none of your business. Okay, Ooh. he'll take you to dinner, dancing, and then he'll find some excuse to stop off at his hotel room for a moment. <laughs> oh boy, I wonder why he's telling him all this that he's gonna do the next day. There's the dinner, a romantic dinner, of course, a candlelight, the dancing that he promised her. Nice music. Okay, all smileys and stuff. Mm. The girls already tingle by all of this. 
And here, here comes the hotel part. You don't mind if we stop off for a minute, do you? Get my coat? It's a little bit chilly out. Uh-oh. The payoff. <laughs> Did he rent it a hotel on purpose? Mighty comfortable beds. <laughs> Come on over here. Let's go. I thought you brought me up here to. Oh, man. <laughs> He's making him look like a hero. He is super smart. Will you forgive me? <laughs> of course, ma'am. This way, ma'am. Oh, oh, I thought we were going for a drive. We are. <laughs> there are plenty of horses and stuff like that in New York City. I used to live there for 10 years, so I know. And it's right beside Central Park, but they don't no, let so you ride them by themselves. Whenever I Somebody would drive you. The only thing that helps is getting behind the horse. <laughs> the horse you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope this stupid horse knows where he's supposed to go. <laughs> he doesn't know nothing about the horse. And of course he paid. Hangs under the reins like a subway strap. Oh, Texas must be a wonderful place. Oh, yes, ma'am. It is. It is. <laughs> His best friend, Jonathan. <laughs> I seem to be out of cigarettes. Um, I wonder if you'd excuse me. Mm -hmm. Okay, he, he doesn't know what he's going to say. What's his idea? Okay. This guy got every move and every line. He's a songwriter, so he could make this up. You've got to come down here and help me out. Fred, I'll make you a deal. Jonathan, old... Pal, good to see you, boy. Sarah, you forgot your check. Oh, thanks, Kathy. Come on in. There's somebody here I want you to meet. Yeah? Who? It's a friend of the family. <laughs> Guy's just full of lies. Say, why don't you take her over for the rest of the evening? Me? Yeah. Jonathan, believe me, you and Moose, I mean Miss Taggett, will get along with <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ooh. Sorry, pal. It's your moves. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's bad talking about somebody like that. <laughs> he got him out of there. <laughs> Good moves. This guy. Natural Museum. Natural History Museum. Many famous places in New York. Of course, they don't look like that. Rockefeller Center. The Village. Hotels, I've never seen that. Oh, this is the Empire State Building, 42nd Street. And they're still on 42nd Street. Madison Square Garden. <laughs> What's he going to say now? Beatnik. Morning, Miss Mara. This is Rex. Oh, good morning, Rex. Oh. You made me glad I ain't in Texas. Good. Sure turned out to be a friendly time. <laughs> Am I going to see you tonight? Oh, I'd love to, Rex, but I already have a date tonight. Who with? Client. You don't know. Jonathan Forbes. Of course. <laughs> you ain't sure the kind of guy who'll break a date. No, I'm not. And I ain't the kind of guy that'd ask you to. I know you're not. Oh. <laughs> this guy looks so charming. He could, he could make change the world around with any woman. Six foot six. Okay. Handsome. Intelligent. Owns a mountain. Well, don't just stand there making with the toast. <laughs> get that robe off and go get him. <laughs> What? Six foot six inches of opportunity doesn't come along every day, you know. 
She's very direct. A lot of people from New York City is very direct. Why did you break our date? Now tell the truth, because you got another date, huh? Go ahead, tell me. You're going out with someone else. Right? Yes, she is. That's a terribly cruel thing to say. Did you ever fall in love Texan. with a tourist? I don't know. I just did. You admit it. You just said it. She you love fall him. in love with him. I did, didn't I? As many times as I'll be married, I'll never understand. In three days? Boy, that guy's good. Rock Hudson. I bow to you, man. An oil man. Jen, if you marry him, you'll have to live out there. Jen, you can't live in Texas. <laughs> Jonathan, we haven't even talked about marriage. Yeah, but it's that look in your eye. I've been married often enough knowing a girl's willing to talk about it. Do I look willing? You look absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Drex Stetson you want? I hope it's Drex Stetson you get. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. He's going to his office. Just go in a closet or something. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I'd like to make an appointment for an examination. For your wife? No, I'm not married. It's for myself. You mean you want the doctor to examine you? Yes. I've been feeling too well. Probably just an upset stomach, but uh, a fellow can't be too careful. A few minutes. No, I I'm sure he'll be very anxious to see you. <laughs> uh, when she gets back, tell her I'm feeling much better. It's probably just a false alarm. Where is he? He's the missing link. The man said he was going to have a baby. And you let him get away? But he was obviously a psychopath. What if he weren't? But Dr. Maxwell. Miss Resnick, medical science still has many unknown regions to explore. Yeah, but I don't think it'll get that obvious. God didn't make it that way. Look, you're the detective agency. All I know is that his name is Rex Stetson and he's from Texas. That gal I told you about, Jan. Who? Jan? The one with the <laughs> What about it? Well, she meets this stupid cowboy from Texas, of all places, and she falls for him. How do you know? She told me so. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll break it up. You will? Yeah. Hello? Miss Morrow, Brad Allen. Uh, look, I am in a hurry, Mr. Allen, so if you don't mind... Yes, he took me to his hotel room. <laughs> uh -huh. He showed me Central Park, and then we left. And nothing else? Nothing. Hmm. There are some men who just, uh... Well, they're very devoted to their mothers. You know, the type that likes to uh, collect cooking recipes or exchange bits of gossip. Ooh, what a vicious thing to say. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm wrong. But, uh, but uh... don't you think you better make sure? You are sick. <laughs> <laughs> my best friend. Yep, they're usually the ones. Oh, I can't. <laughs> yep. I, I've had one of my men tailing him. He and the girl just went into a little club known as the Hidden Door. The hidden door. <laughs> yes. It's hidden, all right. Listen to my psychiatrist. He told me never to trust anyone but him. Is this Roly Poly? Yes, it is. He measures five feet up and down and five feet front and back. <laughs> ja, ja, rolling, rolling. Ja, ja, rolling, rolling. Ja, ja, rolling, rolling. <laughs> ja ja rolling, polling, ja ja rolling, po got a rolling, rolling baby, <laughs> sweet as I'm <laughs> he is just a rolling po ja, ja. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your job. It must be very exciting working with all them colors and fabrics. Mmm. <laughs> Ain't they tasty? Mm. Wonder if I could get the recipe. Sure would like to surprise my ma when I go back home. <laughs> Don't you find me attractive? Why? Yes, ma'am. Oh. All the times that we've been going out together, mm -hmm. you've been a perfect gentleman. Oh, I hope I have. Oh, you have? Is that all 
it is with us? Friendship? <laughs> Ma'am, that's a direct question. It was June, I need no rocket ship, no trip to the moon. I better go to the powder moon. I mean, <laughs> fix my lipstick. He guts this one. Need a light, cowboy? <laughs> That's up to you. You've got two minutes. We'll do this nice and clean so no one's embarrassed. Mm. When she gets back, you'll say goodbye. And we'll put her in a cab. And we'll go home and you'll pack. Where am I going? Connecticut. My summer house is perfect for writing songs. No phone and 20 miles. Remember, I'll be watching you. Hello. <laughs> she got herself nice and pretty again. You know, uh, I'm sure going to miss you leaving New York and all. You're leaving? When? Tonight. I have to mosey up to Connecticut. Didn't I tell you? No. I may be buying the place, and uh, I kind of want to get the feel of it. <laughs> he, How long will you be away? He's a lying oh, ass can. dog. <laughs> it's going to be mighty lonely up there. Ooh. Man, My if I sent you home in a taxi, how long do you think it would take you to get packed up? About an hour. 45 minutes. We're wasting time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this rock session. Line Good song, too. Lion ass dog. Hound. And that's not fair. No, it's not fair to women. <laughs> you gotta call Jonathan to tell him you're not in. No, she's got to call Jonathan. No, nine, 973. Mr. Allen, just so you'll realize how wrong you are about Rex Stetson. Are you going? <laughs> that, Mr. Allen, is something you'll never know. He got it in the bag. You are my inspiration, Jan. <laughs> I bet she's gonna do his best. <laughs> Bye, Jonathan. Yep, your friend is gonna use your own place, man. Just give it to him on a clean silver plate. She's willing to move to Texas. Gosh, I feel guilty. Why? I practically tricked him into taking me along. Yeah. You know, you've gone out with a lot of You didn't trick time. nobody. This, this is the jackpot. You cold? This is a grand prize. If he only knew what I was thinking. Hold me tight. She has a nice voice. Make love <laughs> to me, she only knew. my darling. I remember those times when you could hug your partner, and the cop won't stop you for that. Now they make all the seats divided separately, that way you could be far away from them. Hmm? Did you say something? Who, me? No, but he probably could read no. your thoughts. Oh. Yes, uh, I, I've, I've been trying to call to phone Miss Morrow for uh, some time now. There's been no answer. She's just gone to Connecticut for the weekend. 
Connecticut. <laughs> There's no phone number, but I have a forwarding address. 241 Stony Brook Road. Why, yes, sir. And you let her go? <laughs> well, uh, it wasn't my place. No, it's my place. And I helped him pack. <laughs> you did. You gave him your place and you helped him pack. I guess sometimes that's the meaning of what are friends for. Yep, she's out of control too. Just because of you. She seems like she's totally in love with him. A man who owns a mountain doesn't belong in the big city. <laughs> he is the mountain in the big city. And she has blushed so many times. No, that's the song he writes for every other girl. Jonathan wrapped it up for him. I would have probably put it behind the bar. Hurry back. Quicker than a cow poke chasing a chuck wagon. <laughs> Quicker than a cow poke chasing a chuck wagon. That must be a very slow chalk wagon. Oh, his colorful words is, is so delight. I'm not making fun of it. It just sounds so cute because my wife sounds like that and she sounds so cute and she thinks I'm making fun. I just love her accent. Maybe it'll, that's one of the things that brought me to her. Oh my God. Now, why I didn't thought that was going to happen? Doesn't doesn't have the words on it to the song. Yeah, six foot six. Big man. Yeah. Hurry up and get in there, save the day. You hound dog, you lying ass man. <laughs> She knows the song. Do, do, do. <laughs> oh, my God. She discovered what nest she has fallen into. And it's Brad Allen. I know that. He's a sneaking, double-crossing rat. I know that, too. Will you please take me home? Of course. Bedroom problems. <laughs> At least mine can be solved in one bedroom. You couldn't solve yours in a thousand. There you go. At least you could have had the decency to bring your own champagne. Well, set the fire off. <laughs> oh my god, New York, 80 miles. Oh my god. <laughs> Didn't that look like the same turn, but a different sign now? Let's see if it, they do it again. I wonder if he's on I-95. For 60 miles now. I, I know it. <laughs> she can't because she can't believe that you fell into that big trap, buddy. Hello. Oh. A cup of coffee will make you feel better. 
That's all right, man. I've never done anything like this before. All right, there has to be a first time. I don't have to go to pieces over it. I'm so ashamed. Poor kid. Guy drives a big car with all the optional extras. Thinks he can get away with anything. I thought we were going to get married. Forget it. <laughs> She's infatuated what him too. What happened to you? Cry. I never knew a woman that size had that much water in her. Have you seen her, John? No. Have you talked to her? No. Sat there, feeling guilty. Guilty? You? Yeah. I once saw you work on three sisters at the same time. What do you know? <laughs> He's in love. You're in yes. love. The mighty tree has been toppled for years. The same story he I've used. I've been waiting to hear them yell timber over you. Could be right. You're down right, I'm right. You love her, and she can't stand the sight of you. I believe you're acquainted with Brad Allen. The X Rex. <laughs> the enter. Jonathan, how do I get her back? You don't. That's the beauty of it. You suffer, and I watch. Because <laughs> you work on her maid. Alma? You couldn't get to first base with her. Alma. <laughs> And she is a very big number one fan from you. My name is Brad Allen, and I... Uh... Mr. Allen, of course. Get lost. <laughs> I'd know that voice of yours anywhere. You know me? You are my inspiration, Alma. Oh, <laughs> I'm one of your most devoted listeners. Why, thank you. That's all right. Could we stop in and have a drink somewhere? Oh, no, I don't usually. I, well, I might have one just to be sociable. You ready for another? She beat him. He's definitely not ready to drink. No? No. Now, let's take this problem from me. Okay. She has it fully analyzed. You're in love with her. Huh. And you want to win her back. Mm-hmm. First thing you gotta do is to get her to talk to you. Right? Right. Really very simple. You've got an apartment. She decorates the apartment. You hire her to do your place. Two people <laughs> decorating an apartment, that's pretty intimate. <laughs> you hire her to decorate your apartment. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that sounded like he hit the table hard there. An orange? After drinking vodka? Oh, maybe he could do a screwdriver. <laughs> He's all messed up. Hi there, slugger. <laughs> This'll fix you up. Didn't you find out anything from her? All I remember is this voice. Swimming towards me through a sea of scotch. You got an apartment. She decorates apartments. Right. Right. Why, Miss Morrow? I was expecting Mr. Perrault. Mr. Perrault is unavailable at this time. However, if you'd rather wait until he's free... Oh, no, no. Uh, you'll do just fine. Uh, please come in. <laughs> no more tax wrecks. Mr. Allen, I'm a decorator, you're a client. I'm here because you are paying for my professional services. No. That's right. So what leave the BS out of the way. Uh, nothing in particular. Uh, I'm leaving that entirely up to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, now, uh, here, uh, this is where I do my work. <laughs> Uh, living room. Uh, over here <laughs> is a uh, uh, kitchen, a uh, dining room, uh, over there. And up here? The bedroom. And these? Light switches. Uh, 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 just switches. <laughs> uh, Mr. Allen, if I'm going to redo the apartment, I have to know what everything is for. <laughs> I bet she does. Oh, turn on the light, lock the door. And turn on the music. Uh, 
now, this is the fireplace. Oh, but and I'd like to see what the other switch does. It's just a light switch. I wouldn't pay any attention to Alan, it. Alan, please. He doesn't even have to take her upstairs. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Make this the type of place that, well, you would feel comfortable in. Once we get started, you'll have to move out and stay away until I'm finished. Move out? The men are going to be working here. They'll just be in the way. Well, uh, uh, no, uh, I'll leave. Just do the place the way you'd like it. I will. <laughs> For the switch. <laughs> no, it's not nauseating enough. That one with the two heads. You're not serious. Rabbit with big long velour of... tassels. Tassels? Tassels. There's just one final touch I want to give it. Oh my god, the goddess fertility Goodbye. thing. Behold, Jonathan, the work of a woman in love. Oh, no! <laughs> what is it? I hope you saved those telephone numbers. Oh my God! <laughs> Look at that. It looks like a disaster. Upside down milkshake. Ow. What? What? That chair, it bit me. My God. What he's doing? Get your clothes on. You get out of here. We're going to my apartment. I've seen it. You'll see it again. Now put your clothes on. Getting out of that bedroom, I coming in. He would dare. The one down, please. Harry. Would you be so kind as to call the police? <laughs> She's ready for him. Warp speed! <laughs> that man just inspired me to do something I should have done long ago. You're too nice a looking woman to go out drinking every night. Why, Harry, you're so strong. <laughs> I don't believe it now. Look at the mailboxes. You'll find out. For the groom to carry the bride across the threshold. What bride? Why did I spend a fortune having this apartment done over? Why did I cut myself off from every girl I know? Why does any man destroy himself? Because he thinks he's getting married. And what does what it get me? This. You did yourself a great job. And as far as I'm concerned, you can stay here and charge admission. Friend of mine. Yes, but I want to talk to you for just a moment. But I, but I have some important news to It'll tell. It'll only take a few minutes. You understand? I, I'm going to have a baby. Of course you are. Not quite. A girl, a boy, a girl, and another boy. Four of them. Must be a boy. <laughs> what a such a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I feel embarrassed? Movies like this making you feel crying. <sighs> this has been a very, very interesting and lovely, lovely love story. I mean, this is a 1959 film, and if it could make me laugh that much, the creators and writers were amazing doing this movie. And the actors in here, I mean, Having Rock Hudson, Doris Day, Tony Randall, Therma Reader, uh, Nick Adams, uh, Julian Maid, I think it is, uh, Marcel De Delio, 
and uh, Alan Jerkins. So they all were playing a perfect park, and Rock Hudson and Doris Day were, at that time, the couples of the movies. I mean, they were like unseparated. They did three movies. And it follows with this one in Pillow Talk, 1959. And of course, Lover Comes Back in uh, 1961 and Send Me No Flowers in 1964. So they were just making movies left and right together because people just wanted to see them over and over again. These are the ones that make the blockbuster. And not only that, not Rock Huston and, and Doris Day played together, but also Tony Randall played with them. So they were like the perfect trio in all these movies. So... Perfect three, perfect three movies. It's good to enjoy a nice movie that just makes you feel heartwarming and just makes you want to try that falling in love thing situation again. And 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 we got to not forget times that our spouse, the ones that we go for and the ones we choose in our lives, uh, we got to make them feel happy. We got to pick a day and, and, and don't think that any day is a... Of holidays would be a special day those are special days like um, Valentine's Day Christmas Day birthdays it's not only that it's days that you'll say give flowers to your woman and say this is I love you day this is I just want to show you how much I appreciate you and how much you're there for me and because women love flowers Steph Doris uh, she loved it Africans safari whatever she puts in there <laughs> they made that apartment upside down good. it's a good story oh my friends it has, this has been a delightful delightful very funny movie and I really enjoy uh, I've never seen a movie quite like this and I'm going to have to look uh, into it more thoughts and I want that if anybody could give me challenges like this, something to watch that is old that I've never seen before, and bring it back to life, just a moment, just, just a moment of, of, of showing that love that we missed and, and, and we should always share it with another, one another with your spouses, of course, or uh, the girl that you're with right now, and uh, have a lot of pillow talks, just like me. Well just right behind me so I chose a lot of pillows I just put in there for example of this movie so you just bring a good quote to it so uh, just just keep on the good jobs with our spouses and our girlfriends and do the right thing that we have to do I want to thank you again welcome uh, to come back to my channel to enjoy this movie with me pillow talk and share with one another and and I'll, if you can, give me a subscription. That way you can know future things is going to come by when you hit that bell and that notification button. It will tell you more things that I bring to you. And it will help us out if you bring a big thumbs up to it because the like button does push our movies out there. And it shows that if you liked it, maybe somebody else will like it. Maybe the other person will keep on passing the road and over and over and over again. So don't forget to do all that, buddies and, and, and my friends. Keep it going and just keep... This is a very innocent, wonderful thing to go to. And let's keep on sharing with one another. And let's make things great. And remember, just like my wife says, you are meant for great things. May God bless you. And see you back on another reaction. Give me a challenge. And some people are giving me good challenges. Let it be you be the next one to give me a good challenge. <laughs>